welcome to my channel where we try to do a cute little easy beginners painting tutorials currently twice a week and we're trying out this new format of narrating the steps instead of putting just instructions on the screen and for this piece I have started by taping it down with masking tape just a generic brand and I divide it in half so I can work one painting while the other one dries and I color it very loosely with some uh, with some olive green uh, watercolor pencil very loosely focusing mostly just on the top side and I blend it from light to dark aka from the palm upwards using a watercolor brush you can obviously use a normal brush just keep in mind that watercolor pencils tend to dry very fast so you may have uh, to work quick, quicker than usual and while it dries I color the middle of the right piece using a warm yellow and add some crimson alizarin red on the top and on the bottom because this is going to be a sunset sunrise kind of uh, landscape then I add some lavender violet color on the top and on the bottom of the red and then I just finish it off by coloring the remaining areas using a dark blue I believe the specific shade is cobalt but it doesn't really matter any blue will do and then I add just a slight hint of black to the top corners and also to the bottom to be more precise I put a small piece of tape in the middle of the yellow and I color again from light to dark aka from the yellow towards the black I just repeat this a uh, couple of times to make sure everything is fully blended it doesn't look patchy but this is completely up to you where you like a bit more texture in your paintings or you like it smoother and then I take it off and I proceed to blend the remaining half again from light to dark from the yellow towards the uh, darkest area Meanwhile, my other uh, painting, the green one, has already dried, so I sketch in some loose mountains using the same olive green. I color the top and then I blend it with, uh, the, with the watercolor brush. I just go over the top edge and then bring it slightly down towards the lighter area. I'm using a very thin layer so it's going to dry very fast and once it dries I repeat the same exact process. I sketch another uh, mountain chain slightly below it and I color it in using a bit more pressure to make it a bit stronger in tone and hue. And then again I just blend it down from the edge towards the bottom of the page. Once that has dried I sketch another layer the same exact uh, technique, I color mostly in the top section of the mountain and this time I add a slight hint of pine green, a slightly darker shade of green since the closer uh, we come to the viewpoint the darker the mountains are going to get and you can add as many or as few uh, layers of these mountains as you like, it's completely up to personal preference and by the way, all of the supplies used will be listed below in the description box. You can find a full and complete list and also I'm going to add some alternatives to the pencils to the paper. And then for the last layer, I'm using uh, only the pine green, my darkest green, and then I blend it out. I didn't have a ruler of hand so I just used my pencil case to sketch the horizon line and then some mountains on it using the black pencil. You can even say that these two are the same exact um, landscape but maybe from different points of view. I don't know, it's completely uh, from imagination, there is no reference to this. And then I also sketched the ground using black and I uh, used these uh, flicker motions to add some grass blades or maybe flowers to it. Going from left to right, from right to left, there is uh, very, very little um, precision to this, completely random. And I, bl I blend this down and as I'm blending, 
I make this uh, flick motion with my brush so it also blends the roots of these flowers or grass blades. Again, I blend uh, the mountains and I also add little lines below them to give the idea of, of reflection over the lake, river, or uh, whatever this is. Using my darkest green, I add some words in the sky on the first painting, and I repeat the same. Uh, and I repeat the same process using black on the right side. I decided to add a couple of stars towards the right side using a white marker, just focusing them on the top side of the painting where it's the darkest, where we put our lavender and the cobalt blue. And lastly, I sign with the marker and I slowly peel off the tape in the opposite direction in which I applied it. I peel it off very slowly as to avoid the paper tearing on me. And if you find you struggle with this, feel free to use a hair dryer on low heat settings and it's immediately going to break down the blue and peel right off. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this uh, new kind of videos. Please let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. And we'll see each other in the next video.